<clears throat> in Shakespeare's The Tempest, Gonzalo describes his ideal society, one without traditional governing structures, accumulation of wealth and property, one without any need for weapons, without need to work, without treason and felony, and one that relied on nature alone to survive. This may sound radical, and it certainly did to the others in Gonzalo's party, but the learned advisor was not alone in his thinking. Many throughout history have, have, have thought as Gonzalo did, and one such person is Karl Marx. No, not that guy. This guy. And also somewhat this guy. Well, you know what? For the sake of getting to the point, let's forget angles. Karl Marx, German political scientist, philosopher, economist, and social revolutionary. It is his role as the latter which has gained him so much attention. Marx, together with Engels, penned the Communist Manifesto, a revolutionary document which gave socialism a voice. In it, he stated that in most countries, the following would be applicable. Abolition of property and land and application of all rents of land to public purposes and abolition of all rights of inheritance. And that is exactly what Gonzalo is suggesting as an ideal society. Without inheritance and land ownership, which have traditionally been the means of furthering wealth, in theory there is no wealth inequality. However, in reality, Marxism asserts that for true socialism to be instituted, there needs to be individuals who would temporarily hold the power and wealth before the redistribution process. This is called the transition state. This seems to contradict Marx's theory of equality, especially since the nationalization of industry would, in practice, cause power and wealth to be dangerously concentrated in the hands of those individuals. There also is a similar contradiction in Gonzalo's society when he states in The Tempest that if you would be king of the island, there would be no sovereign, clearly a contradictory statement. Although the core of Marxism and Gonzalo's ideas on economics are the same, the social and moral ideals held by Gonzalo are actually scorned by Marx, who dismissed such views held by previous socialist thinkers as unrealistic. Essentially, Gonzalo and his fellow utopian socialists, as Marx called them, viewed society as fluid and saw revolution in a transition state as unnecessary, downplaying the antagonisms between classes and asserting that humans should rely on nature and not themselves for change. Therefore, Gonzalo was ahead of his time. While he shared some economic views with Marx, he did not see eye to eye with him on many issues and could probably more easily align himself with anarchism or anarcho-socialism. I'm coming to brush.